Oh, there he is. Um, today it's my pleasure to introduce someone that you see on an irregular basis. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Todd Holder is going to give us an update on what's going on with our new arena project, which I think is huge and very important for our, our community. Mr. Holder. <laughs> And I have chosen to be absent today, so thank <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a trip hazard up here. Um, thanks for having me. Thanks for inviting me. And I'm wondering what this group of people would like to hear about the arena project. Um, there's been a, a, a lot of work that's gone on in the background. Uh, the seven person committee has met uh, at least on a monthly basis for 18 months. Some of us have been working on the project as long as three years. Um, the longest birth that it has ever been known to man, I'm sure. But also I think one of the most important projects that could happen for our entire county uh, and, and hopefully will propel us into the future. I, uh, I'm going to take questions about the project and I'm going to try to field them as, as adequately as I can. Uh, but I, I, I can't help but reminisce and, and think about the 60s when the Alba Public Library was built. And at that time, that was the very first share trust project that that it was was funded, and uh, there was huge discussion. Now we need to back up a little bit and understand that that was I was less than one year old when that project was, so I don't remember it. Uh, many of you will. Alan Wilson will certainly, <laughs> but but. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, as they, as they funded that project and they struggled with, as Daddy used to tell me, they struggled with trying to figure out where to put the library. And it would cause enormous amounts of, of grief of where to put the library. And before they actually got the property purchased to put the library on, the selling price went up three times. Remember that, Richard? But, but anyway, there was a motel where the... Uh, where the uh, library is now and a very colorful broker Beulah Sperry you may or may not remember had the listing and and before the property before the deal came down it went up three different times so I have to put this on pause this is my mother and I will have to stop and take this call I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> so, Brown, the, Brown, so it's not exactly a new joke. That's it. I'm surprised. I'm never. You're back. Okay. Thank you. Now, I apologize. There are very, 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 very few people that I will stop everything for, and she is one of them. <laughs> so if it happens again, I'm sorry. Her television's not working, so we'll address that as soon as this is over. <laughs> And at 90, I hope that's the only problem I have is my television is not working. So, so anyway, this project, while is not only a, um, it's not only a project of Share Trust, but many other trusts in town are, are the, the Leslie Family Trust is is a is a huge part of this, and and there are other trust organizations that are going to be part of, of this project. So for those of you who don't know, there's a seven, mem seven member board made up of a representative from the county commissioners, a representative of the city of Alva, uh, two representatives from Share Trust, one from the Pete and Ruth Leslie Foundation, and a, uh, another member of the board is one on the tourism tax. Okay, so there's seven strategic members of this board who try to come together and make decisions and they the tentacles of that seven member board touch almost all the lives in Woods County right and so it is tough to move the ship forward we have a fabulous committee we meet uh, like I said on a very regular basis we do have plans they are relatively firm uh, the plans as they said come in considerably over budget 
anybody surprised? So we are now working towards that to try to get to see if we can carve this thing towards our budget so that we can uh, make it happen. So the question is, will it happen? Yes. I firmly can tell you that it will happen. What month is it going to be finished? When's it going to start? I can't answer those questions yet, but I can tell you that they're working hard at trying to make it happen. If the members of the board had anything to do with it, it would have happened this summer. It would have started turning dirt this summer. It could, by late fall, turn dirt. It's, it is that close. We are working feverishly on it. I cannot give you a date because I don't have that date. So, will it be a burden to the taxpayers? We do not believe it will be a burden to the taxpayers. Who will be the ultimate benefactor of, of the uh, arena project? And, and that is, currently it's the city of Alba. Those terms and conditions may change slightly, but um, there, there should be no debt load on the Woods County taxpayers. Should be. Could there be in the future? Sure. Could it take tax dollars to help fund it operationally, maybe maintenance, those kind of things? Yes, of course. It will be owned by uh, an entity. Right now it's the city of Alabama. The benefactor of the, the trust is the city of Alabama. That may change, but for right now it's the city of Alabama. So Question. what's the one primary holdup right now? Trying to meet both ends come together, trying to decide for sure what our needs are and what our wants are, and if we can fund those two projects, make those things come together. It's kind of like building a house, right? Trying to figure out what you want and then what you can afford and what could be staged if it needs to be staged. I'm not in favor of staging at this point because we've waited a long time, and I'd like to see it funded. What else where it will go? Uh, the land that we that the that we believe that it's going to be on at this point that had been completely decided has been donated by a local family. What what is the uh, from the time they turn a shovel of dirt until they think it takes to get finished? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I'm guessing 18 months. Okay. That is a total shot in the dark. I don't have any idea. Not a builder, right, Richard? <coughs> yes, sorry. How big is the space? And I knew that was going to be a when question. When you say arena, I think different ways, but are we talking? Well, first of all, you're a girl, so you would think differently. No, I'm not. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, approximate uh, the exhibition hall, approximately twenty-five thousand square feet. The livestock facility, approximately 25,000 square feet. The event arena, approximately 75,000. Is there going to be heat in there, air conditioning? So that's a really good question. <laughs> so the air conditioning units for the uh, 75,000 foot square foot facility were on top of four and a half million dollars, four point five million dollars to put enough tonnage in there to air condition. Currently that will not be air conditioned. They will have these ginormous fans, the name of which I will not say, that will be in the center and they are extremely effective. It will be heated to the point of tolerance, which means it'll be a 60-ish in there. But we are told by by people that have done this before and built these before the insulation and the paneling that we put in the wall, side walls, will keep it comfortable. Now, again, where is this going? That's a really good question, Larry, and if I could tell you that, Maybe. I would tell you. But I can't actually tell you that right now because that's a committee decision that hadn't come out yet. <coughs> so I'll make it. Oh. Is the county involved in this? Or the, the, remember the board. The board is made up of a representative from the <coughs> county commissioners. <coughs> A representative from the city of Alva, two representatives from Share Trust, one representative from the Pete and Ruth Leslie Foundation, one member from the Tourism Board, and Northwestern. There's, that's the seventh one. Excuse me for leaving that one out. Dr. McKinnon? What about management for this thing after? Have they done much talking on that? Because that's going to make the difference of whether this is a success or a failure. 
lots of, that's, you know, I, couldn't, I couldn't have said it better myself. The management has been talked about since inception of the project. Who's going to manage it? How's it going to manage it? Is it going to be a management firm? Is it going to be private individual? Is it going to be more than one? How is that going to work? So there's actually a committee that's working on that right now. They've interviewed some people, some potential prospects. We've interviewed some management companies. And it uh, hadn't been a, a perfect fit yet, closer. Uh, I'm actually leaning more towards a private individual to manage it, maybe two, as opposed to a management company, so that we can employ local people as, well, as much as possible. So there, there will be recruitment. Absolutely. They're going to have to go out and get people to come in. Absolutely. And if I have my way about it, their salary will be based on recruitment. And it'll be based on dollars that come back to the facility. And, you know, because those won't be, that won't be a cheap individual, right? That'll be, that'll be in my consideration, a high dollar individual. But a large portion of their salary will be based on performance. And, and we cannot be afraid to hold their feet to the fire because that's going to be the lifeblood. Of, of the arena. And if it's not working, they're going to have to go <coughs> somebody else. One of the most unique things that we've come up with are in the design committee, I'm not part of the design committee, but they have come up with is, you know, there can be, a, at this point, if, they, if, the, if the plans stand, there can be at least three large events going on at the same time, and those people never caught, cross each other's path. That's an under that's a that's a huge accomplishment if we can make that happen and keep it that way. Now, because of that, that it causes huge amounts of increased cost for bathrooms, for walkways, for separation walls, and those kind of things. Not to mention the fires, the fire suppression that has to go in. Those kind of so there's a ton of stuff to con consider. But we wanted to make it as versatile as possible, right? So there could be as many different events going on at the same time as possible. A week ago, you guys announced on an agenda that you're going to tour <coughs> facilities and do no The hurricane. Then you, then you cancel that. The hurricane had a problem with that. Yeah, we we're most going to tour. We we're going in South Texas, and I, and I am not going to tell you the names of the people because I can't remember, and it's not because it's a secret there. But there's been three or four facilities that are close to ours. Nothing that fits the bill completely, but three or four that have been built by. Uh, uh, people of similar nature, and we're going to tour those. South Texas, oh, Magnolia, Arkansas is one. I'm going to be a liar, so I'm not going to tell you anymore. But three, that's get, that trip has been rescheduled for the 20th. Mayor? Uh, Larry, I think I've narrowed down the location. Larry? Uh, since it will be donated by a private individual, it's not going to be out by the airport. So if that narrows it down. <laughs> Yes. I have a question for you. So the board, what is what is their vision of who this is going to bring in, or events, what type of events this is going to bring in? Yes. <laughs> Soup to nuts. Anything from a garden show to dirt bike racing to, uh, <laughs> to uh, arena football okay. to basketball. You know, not to be in competition, but the versatility is is huge. To dirt events, to concrete events. Could there be BMX bike racing inside? Yes. Could there be uh, monster truck? Yes. Could there be, I mean, it's, it's absolutely endless. Well, is it primarily for equestrian? No, it's not. It, it probably will be used that way based on where we are geographical location, but that it'll be versatile enough for anything and everything. Todd, you kind of get an idea of 75,000 people. Is that something comparable to the size of the thing in England? Which which one? The down downtown no, or the, the one out by the very right. It's not it, it won't be that big. It's not I don't know the exact dimension. It's bigger than the downtown one in England, if you're familiar with that one. It's bigger than that one. So the seating capacity we're shooting for fifteen to eighteen hundred. And that is those are that is one side for sure with curvatures on the other side, box seating. Handicap accessible, those kind of things. Expandable to twice that. Pardon? Are there plans for a restaurant? Uh, there will be a commercial kitchen. I, I, I am proud to tell you that one of the requirements of my late father is that there be a commercial kitchen. There will be a commercial kitchen. Does that mean there's going to be a restaurant? No. That means there's going to be a commercial kitchen. His, I, his grandiose plans was that there be a restaurant inside overlooking the arena so that you could go there and look through the glass and see see an event. 
So, questions? What's the price difference between what you want and what you but you can't afford? Well, 25%. You're 25% over. And that's how many million? 25%. <coughs> we're over budget 25%. I'm not willing to disclose at this point the dollar figure because it's insignificant at this point. We just got to see if we can make the dollar charge. That's not a rude comment. It's just, it's just a lot of money, a ton of money. A ton of money. Is existing infrastructure capable of <coughs> needs? So one more time. Is existing infrastructure, meaning water, sewer, uh, parking, available to meet the needs? Yeah, I'm not positive to whether I can speak to the water and sewer, yes. Uh, parking, <coughs> if it's a new location, parking would have to be construction. construction. Well, you know what happened to us once before we built a new motel and we said, hey, they're going to have to have a sewer. And we didn't have one, so we had to rush. The good news on that is that that's the reason that the city and the county are both represented on this board. So the city forefathers and the people who are on those planning meetings should be in the middle of that. Oh, come on. When you say stage, you mean do it in phases? Worst case scenario, yes. Okay. Chicken or the egg? Good question. So basically, if you have to stage it, you might build one twenty-five thousand, you put one in the other one, in the other one, or yeah, I I can't speak to how that. That'd be somebody much smarter than I, but uh, I just hope we don't get to that point. Talk. So you can talk about the three different areas. Are they separate or one or compartmentalized in one huge bill? Kind of like that, uh, separate, but. But uh, but together, so the arena structure would be in the center, right? And uh, the livestock facility would attach onto one end. The way if we do it the way that we're planning now, warm-up arena, which I did not mention the square footage of it, would be on the other end. And then the event center or the convention space would be a separate. It could be split up into three different meeting areas, right? So the the. Uh, Merchants <coughs> building right now at the fairgrounds around 20,000 square feet. So this would have a bigger convention space by 5,000 square feet of what's presently there. If that if that gives you some kind of an idea. <coughs> and so the seven, <coughs> but one is three and a half times as big as the first. Really. You got an A in math. All right. <laughs> you so, said, would it be a burden on the taxpayers? I mean, is it going to be 100% funded outside of that? Or is that going to be some kind of bond deal, revenue, bond type thing? Or? Well, um, and, and, I, and I am one member of the committee. Nothing has been signed, so anything I say is only my word against somebody else's, right? So this could all be subject to change. But the, if it goes the way it does, the initial funding of the project would not be on the burden of the taxpayer. Now then, could there be a possibility of TIF district, which you need to familiarize yourself with that. We get it at AVARD, where you take a portion of land and the increased ad valorem that is representative from that could go to help fund a portion of that. That's a mouthful, right? So that does not mean your taxes are gonna go up. That is not what that means. That means of the designated area, if there is increased evaluation in that area, then that sliver would go towards funding that. So are your taxes going to go up in order to fund this project? No. Could they get a portion of the increased taxes from where they are today? Yes. For a period of X, which could be 10, 20 years, something like that. Tom, who are our competitors with this project? Well, we don't have, well, Enid would be our competitor. Cherokee would be our, our competitor, only it's, it's, a, it's a divorce of a different color. No pun intended. Uh, Woodward would be, would be a competitor. They have a similar agreement there. They have done more expansion outside than they have inside, but that would be, you know, nobody in the state would have this 
mix. There'd be lots of people that were close, but the, the, the three events without seeing anybody else is a big deal. And, and you know, are, is that ever going to happen? I can't tell you that, but, but that's the goal of the committee is to try to make them separate enough where they could have them. So other than that, do we have another advantage? Northwest Oklahoma is the finest people in the state of Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a college with one of the largest radio teams in the United States. You know, that's, that's the first and foremost. Uh, Woods County has survived for years and years and years on an agricultural base. That's huge. You know, there'll be a lot of roping events that happen out there. Are they going to bring huge dollars to town? No. But every dollar that comes that wasn't here before produces nine and a quarter cents that's going to help us fund both our infrastructure within our, our present uh, facility and, and county and to help us with that facility. I think if we do not do this, we're leaving a huge gaping hole in our community. This is something that we've needed to do for a long period of time. The time is now, you know, uh, buckle up buttercup, here it comes. You know, because and then and is it going to cost some taxpayer dollars ultimately? Yeah. Do we do we hope that we can coerce the county into doing a lot of the dirt work and save hundreds of thousands of dollars? Yes. Do we hope to use inmate labor to uh, to help in the construction and building? Yes. Do we hope the city of Alva can contribute? Do we hope Northwestern contribute? Yes. Do we hope the citizens of Alva can contribute? Absolutely. Because this is not about me. Or my family, or Share Trust, or the, or the Leslie Foundation. This is about our community. This is about our county, and I, and I feel like that it is it is a very positive step step for us. Okay. Well, I would like to see all of Woods County in on it. Well, I hope they are, Larry. I mean, we they certainly have a, a, a place at the table, no. and so I certainly hope I certainly hope they are. Questions? Yes. You thought about selling naming rights? Yes, we have. And so part of the struggle we have right now is upgrades, right? Uh, do we do wooden countertops or do we do granite countertops? And so uh, we're not proposing county that was a wood, that was a joke. The, uh, <coughs> the naming rights would go on improvements. You know, do we do special updated stuff, you know, and give them naming rights? Yes, of course. An opportunity for people to have community investment. You better believe it. We hope it'll be there for a really long time. If we wanted to name it the Allen Wilson Arena, how much would he have? Two, two and a half million. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just right around that. What do you think about support? You know, um, why are they so secretive? Why don't they tell us what's going on? Well, we've got to get the plan together, right? Trust the people that are on the committee. Trust the people who are working hard to know that they're doing the very best they can at the very fastest pace they can to come with a complete package. And they're never going to get that done. You know, say, hey, I have faith that they will. If we have faith in our community, we have faith in the leadership that's in place, we're going to have lots and lots of uh, bumps along the road, but we need support. That's what we need to do. If you see one of those committee members, say thank you for doing this. They are receiving absolutely nothing and spending hours and hours and hours of time on that. Here's a perfect example. Uh, how many of you were on the board when they built the bandstand down by the courthouse, uh, part of this community? These, I know these two guys. Anybody else part of that? How many hours did you spend doing that, picking up nickels and dimes so that you could put that thing? That's what this is. This is our community building something that's going to be here for a long, long time. Thanks. Thank you.